Training starts with a test. The next thing you've got to start doing, though, is to raise the bar, to require more of your students, to require more of yourself than you ever thought you could handle before. I'm not suggesting an easy form of Christianity. I'm suggesting a tough one. Look, when I was first given the job as a youth pastor, we had a very small youth group. My goal was twofold. Number one, if there aren't any students to teach, you don't have a youth group. We need to grow the group. So I was thinking, well, how do I grow a youth group, right? Well, you know what I did. I did what every youth pastor does. We played games and ate a lot of pizza. And it stayed there for a long time. There are some of you right now who are laughing, but you know that your students are in a youth group just like this. They are not requiring much of our students. Warm bodies who can eat is about all we need. But at the same time, when they're at home, our parents expect a lot more of our students academically. Where I am in uh, Southern California, they've got a high bar for their students. They're in AP courses. They're in international baccalaureate classes. They're having tutors. They will invest. They know that when it comes to their individual studies, they expect a lot more from their kids. But when it comes to what they believe about God or studying God, oh, that bar is really low. Really? When I started youth pastoring, this was the age of my family, Okay. I had two sons and two daughters. They were young, too young to be in a high school youth ministry, but they didn't want to sit in their age-appropriate ministry. They wanted to be with mom and dad. So every Sunday, they would be with me and Susie, and we would be in the high school youth pastorate. My boys would just saddle up alongside high school boys. They like to think of themselves as older anyway, so they enjoyed that. My daughters would be sitting in the laps of high school uh, girls who uh, just loved on them. And I, I would, of course, I was teaching high schoolers at what I consider to be a college level, yet my kids are sitting in there. I'm thinking they're going to be bored to tears and squirrely, but they weren't. They were fine. We did that for six years, okay? And they grew up in that youth ministry. By the time they were adults, very, very, um, uh, they were very familiar with the content. I mean, these, my, this is my daughter, Mia, okay? She's my youngest daughter. And I will tell you that uh, she would go with me to, to events and work at my book table. And afterwards, she would say to me, you know, I could do your talk. I've heard it so many times. And I could do that talk better because I'm funnier than you are. That's what she told me. I'm like, yeah, you know what? I think she could do my talk. As a matter of fact, this is uh, my kids just, my son just got married. So we have this new daughter-in-law as part of our family. But there's Mia. She's in the Marine Corps. Now, She's ready. And she started off like two or three years old, sitting in those laps. My point is, we can get a lot more from our students than we think we can. We've just never tried. Here's how I draw it in the book. I had a target as a youth pastor. It was college-level information. And I was really shooting high, knowing that my high school students who were in my ministry, they could pull themselves up. They could learn this. I had no idea that my own kids could learn it. At the ages that they were. Of course, we made it visual. We tried to make it visual. But my point is, I call this, Lee Lee talks about, Lee Strobel talks about ricochet evangelism. This is ricochet apologetics, right? I'm aiming at one thing and it's bouncing off them and it turns out my own kids are getting equipped. My question for all of you is, how far have you been, how high have you been aiming for yourself? What's the last five things you read? Show me what your calendar looks like. Show me what your day planner looks like. This version of Christian discipleship, of Christian living, is a harder version that requires more commitment on our part. And we need to model that for our kids. Raise the bar. Require more of yourself. And-